Here we have an example. So the impulse response of our filter is given by this uh, vector here. So it's one, two, three, four, and so on. Then its Z transform is one. So this is the um, Z to the power of zero. Then we have uh, two, this is Z to the power of minus one, three times Z to the power of minus two, four times Z to the power of minus three, and so on. So when we assume a sampling of factor n equals to two, we can obtain its upsampled polyphase components given by this. So here is phase zero and here phase one, for example. So we have one, three, five, and so on. And with phase one is two, uh, four, six, and so on. And we can combine these two given exactly this. So if we add the phase zero component with phase one component, we will end up, and all the components we will end up uh, with the um, frequency response, the Z transform. So the general case is illustrated in the following block diagram that consists of a delay chain on the left to implement the different delays, Z to the power of minus I, and the polyphase components. So here we have the polyphase components, here we have our delays, here we have our input, this is the future output, this is a downsampling, and here we have our output. Yeah? So this could be a system for downsampling rate conversion, where we first low pass, filter the signal X to avoid aliasing, and then we downsample it. So in this way, we can decompose our filter in N polyphase components, where I is the phase index, like we showed before. And we can simply, uh, we can simplify the system using the noble identities. Yeah? Because in the sum, we have the transfer functions of the form of H of I, z to the power of n, we can use the noble identities to simplify our sampling rate conversion to shift down samples before the sum and before the filters, but not before the delay chain on the left side, and replacing the polyphase filter arguments z to the power of n with z. So now we have our input x of z, then we have here our delays, here we have the down sampling, here we have our uh, filters, and then we have our output. So we are moving the down sample here. We have our polyphase components, and we have our output. So looking at the, the delay chain and the following down samplers, we see that this corresponds to blocking the signal X into consecutive blocks of size n. So this is this can be seen as a serial to parallel conversion for each n samples. Yeah? So now we have a blockwise processing with our filter and the filtering is now completely done at the lower sampling rate that will uh, reduce the speed requirements for hardware. Yeah? We obtain the parallel processing at a lower sampling rate.